to check in with you uh, you know five days of not even being online which is unusual for me uh, the past couple of years it's been endless amounts of hours uh, first learning how to use a computer and navigate around and all this and now the last couple of years just fighting to wake up the sleepers and inform myself to the level that I can uh, protect my children and keep them safe anyway survival weekend was good I was kind of discouraged that um, most of the people that thought they were able to make it were not able to but we had a great time good conversations block me 73 was able to show up and that was awesome he brought his uh, DC uh, wind turbine windmill gen uh, power generation system and he actually gave us the windmill uh, so that we could see how he did it and use it here. That was awesome of him. I mean, that's a craft of his hands, and that means more to me than anything. That was just awesome. And to meet him, um, if you haven't checked out his channel, go find it, Block Me 73 uh, He may offend some of you, but if you haven't been offended by me, then you'll fit in real well over there uh, watching his stuff. And he keeps his finger on the pulse of what's going on. He's raising his kids, uh, does have a wife at home, but, you know, his oldest boy came with him and his friend that was a good time a few other people showed up uh, which was good and brought some uh, younger kids with them and for me personally what I got out of it uh, I saw that my children were able to ration they were all set up with packs now they did go a little nuts with their food and and they didn't ration perfectly but we're, we're talking about three young boys who you know and again we were just here on the property so they really didn't get the hardcore reality of oh shit we're in the middle of nowhere and we have nothing but they still were able to ration um, and get themselves through the weekend with the food that they were given um, so that was good good experience and uh, we didn't do much video on that uh, we didn't really do a lot we did do a hike at night um, with the kids and everything and stumble through the woods which went pretty well but we didn't video that uh, I do want to get the video up as soon as I can to show you what I did with the earth battery. Um, that, that's pretty interesting. Um, that worked out pretty well, I think, with my limited knowledge of electronics. That worked out very well. was able to light a 9 LED light flashlight out of uh, 7 bottles of dirt, basically. Um, and I can show you that. Also want to show you how to make your own tent because out of everybody that was in everybody here uh, my tent was the only one that did not get wet and the reason is is because I didn't use a tent um, two four dollar tarps from the Dollar Depot or Big Lots or wherever the hell I got it Cheap Charlie that's where I got it um, two four dollar tarps um, I had a tent I could use I did not want to um, so I will take the time sometime this week and set that up again and show you how but I can tell you out of one, two, three, four tents, I was the only one that didn't get a leak. Um, so that tells you something. If you're in an emergency situation, don't waste the time of packing that tent. It's expensive. It's heavy. It takes up a lot of room. And I used two 8x10 tarps, uh, some kite twine, basically, and some sticks, uh, one large a few small and I had a nice enclosure that kept me and we had torrential downpour for an hour or more a driving rain very heavy I didn't get wet so that was awesome uh, anyway that's an update I, I see that everything is still a mess while I'm away I got back and last night I uh, had to, to just delete 700 emails mostly all news feeds um, I didn't even take time to look at it. I'll, I'll pick up on what I missed slowly. I just know everything's a fucking mess. And I wanted to touch on one thing, too. See all this political squabbling amongst everybody. Romney, Obama, Romney, Obama, Romney, Obama. Really? Is that your choice? You call that democracy? Let me tell you something. I have two balls, okay? And whether I play with the right ball 
or the left ball, I'm simply only playing with my nuts. There's nothing democratic about it at all. It's a complete fucking lie. That's why the flag is still upside down and will remain so until this country's taken back. Do I think that violence is needed? I hope not. But I do think all occupiers, and I'm going to call you out, you're a public nuisance. You have done nothing more. You can say that it's a great awakening. It's getting people together. No, it's not. It's being used to institute martial law, which technically Obama could declare right now. Any major uprising in this country gives him the right. And we know how he likes to uh, sign sticky notes, executive orders, and call it law. So this is a critical moment. Now, most of you don't know that back around Memorial Day, I think the 24th possibly, 300 ex-soldiers marched on Washington. This is where the Occupy movement should be going. Now I know you can't get everybody involved uh, across all the states, but all those that can make it to Washington should, and all those that cannot should be at the state capitol occupying, not in the parks, not in the city streets, not anywhere that becomes a public nuisance and, and you can't start out violent but I do hold firmly to the fact that you keep your fucking hands off me so if cops want to come up and they want to get tough they, they have to you know suffer the consequences you keep, you keep your hands off me uh, no victim no crime I'm not harming anybody but w we are harming people when you when you're all invading the, the state parks and damage to the trees and a public nuisance or you're you're blocking streets. It's not changing a damn thing. The Occupy movement's been going a year now, right? Or well, whatever, eight months, whatever it is, a long amount of time. A lot of people paying prices thinking they're making change and all they're doing is setting up martial law, which I do still believe will be here by the end of the summer. Technically we're under it now. If you line up all the executive orders, the Patriot Act, all this shit, line it all up it's martial law yeah you can still stay out as late as you want but but if you have anything that we want we can come take it from you matter of fact we can take you you will do our work if we choose to in the name of national preparedness you know what you want to prepare us inform us tell us the truth anyway I'm starting to rant again I'm all over the place I'm still tired I uh, did manage to cut the hair before the weekend that was a good thing I got a big list. I don't know if I'll get to it today. One thing I do want you to keep an eye for, though, coming up, uh, somebody has reached out to me who owns a home in New Jersey. They live in New York, and they were wanting my advice. Uh, they need to get out from underneath the house, the second home, which they use to care for their disabled brother, and move him closer to New York and, and get rid of that debt. And they wanted my advice on giving the house to a charity and then getting the tax break so that it would compensate the hundred thousand dollar payoff on the note and myself I want to see charity not be tax deductible because you're still getting something for your deed and it means nothing um, of course this person isn't in a position they can just give away a hundred thousand dollar house I understand that so I did suggest to them that they do what I've seen others do and hold a raffle for the home um, I think it's great because a needy family could end up with a home for five, ten, twenty dollars, whatever uh, the price of the ticket is. Um, I don't have any more details other than that, and I've at requested um, documents to prove that they own the property. This is not somebody I know, but this is somebody I've interacted with who has reached out to me, um, and I've walked them through getting vaccination waivers for the child. Um, that's all I can tell you about the person but before I endorse it I will make sure that they own the property um, and that they're handling all the monies but I just see this as, a, as an awesome thing to do I'll help this person um, because I know down the line it's going to help somebody else so that's something to look forward to in the next few days when I get time to research the property and the documents but the, the home is somewhere in New Jersey so um, keep an eye out for that if you have an interest uh, it, it could put a homeless family in a home uh, maybe you can buy a ticket for somebody you know that needs their own home I, I don't know whatever I'll keep you up to date um, I'll get back to the news later today or this evening I did 
throw out the thing about Fukushima. The reason that video is silent other than Obama's lie is because sometimes people's words steer the group. I don't want my words to steer you. I want them to wake you up. So that's why I didn't comment. What, what is there to say? Obama said no radiation would hit the West Coast. Twice now it's been proven that not only uh, cesium uh, but another radioactive con I'm so pissed off about it I don't even know it's here showing up on the west coast it's shown up before today so don't let that well it's been a year minimize the fact that it's here don't let the models that tell you in five or ten years it will be here so you go back to sleep for the next four and a half years and then try to do something about it you got to do something about it now, and you got to hold Obama accountable. His blatant lie, and it was a blatant lie, those scientists know what they need to know to give us the facts. They didn't give us the facts. That is genocide. It's premeditated murder. This is your president. Not my president. I've never voted. I don't intend to. I will vote when... Joe Schmo with the ripped shirt and the dirty jeans and an ounce of fucking common sense is running for president. That's when I'll vote again. I'll, I'll vote again after there's a march on Washington and Obama is arrested. That's when I'll vote again. Anyway, enough of me babbling for now, but I thought I'd show everybody my face. Everything was fine. We had a great time. Um, and we may try to do uh, another one come the fall, but of course I don't plan anything out more than a few weeks because things change so fast uh, right now and we all need to conserve uh, but if it seems feasible uh, in the fall we'll try to do another event like this so anyway much love many thanks um, if you're able to visit the website share the website with other people uh, the support is needed I'm, I'm going nuts putting a lot of time into it trying to expand it I want more people interacting with it um, if you're able to help me uh, in that effort uh, there is a donation button that that would be great um, anyway we got a lot to cover in the next few days and uh, I'm gonna get out of here for now much love many thanks for uh, all the well wishes on my way out and the uh, glad to see your backs uh, since I got back last night I'll see you soon <laughs>